Let's get started with this Tekken installation video. Note, all links for sites accessed are in the description of the video, and you will need a program capable of extracting zipped files to complete this tutorial. First, we need to navigate to the Technic Launcher download page, which will be in the description as mentioned previously. Go ahead and click Windows. Wait for that to complete downloading. Then go ahead and just left click that and open it up. Here we are. Now enter your Minecraft account credentials. Remember to click remember this account, log in. First, before we do anything else, we're going to go to launcher options, Java settings, and we're gonna allocate more than a gig of memory. I'm gonna allocate six, considering I have 16 gigs of memory, and Minecraft usually uses three to four for me, so I can go ahead and close that now. And now we're gonna to go to the mod packs tab and search Tekkit Classic. This is gonna be the official Tekkit Classic pack. You can tell through the blue tag right here once you click on it. Go ahead and click install. Now while that's happening, we can go back to our links. We're gonna to go to the Pure BD Craft for Minecraft page, and we're gonna scroll all the way down until we get to the older downloads. I'm going to install Pure BD Craft 128 by 128, and you're gonna click for MC 1.2.5. Now you can install 64, 32, 16. Just pick what you need for your end of system. If you're running a lower end system like a laptop, you might need to run 16 or 32, but um, higher end systems can run 128. 64. So, yes, I'm going to go ahead and install 128. All right, wait for that download to start real quick. And once that happens, we can just move to the next page. So, this is the Svax Techit patch. I'm going to go ahead and download the 128 version. Make sure you grab the corresponding version for performance reasons. If you, you know, downloaded the 32 base and then you go for the 128 Techit, your performance isn't going to be as good as it would have been. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab this, the 128. Now, while that's downloading, we're going to go to the Railcraft patch page. The reason we have to do this is that in the Tekkit patch, there is a Railcraft folder, but the file structure is incorrect, so none of the textures apply. Like these rails right here, you won't see them in that, so this is pretty important if you want to use Railcraft. We're going to scroll down the page until we reach Railcraft version 5.3.2, and now this only has 128 by 64 resolution. If you're running the 16 ver resolution, just, just grab the 64. I mean, there's only so many textures in Railcraft, it'll be fine. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab the 128, download that. Now, um, once that's all downloaded, we're going to go ahead and move to our downloads folder, and we're going to extract all of these. I'm using 7-zip, so I'm just going to go to 7-zip, extract files, 7-zip, extract files, 7-zip, extract files. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just delete those zips real quick. So they don't clutter up our thing. So we're gonna do we're gonna open up the base right here. We're gonna open it in a new window. We're gonna hit the Windows key and the right arrow key, and then we're gonna go back to the downloads folder and we're gonna open Sfax Tekka SMP. We're going to select everything in this folder, drag it over into the base folder, and replace files in the destination. Now, this is important. Go down to Railcraft, hold shift, and click delete. Go ahead and leave your base pack open. Go back over to this window, click downloads. Now go to the Railcraft Sfax add-on and drag this over. It might not look like it goes in, but that's because it pops into the bottom here. We can just click refresh. Okay, so we can close the left-hand window. Now we're going to go back to downloads. We're going to minimize Google Chrome real quick. And we're going to take this base pack and we're going to move it onto the desktop. Just keep it there for safekeeping because we're going to need it later. All right, we're going to go back to Google Chrome now. This is pretty important. Go to the sounds.rar link I left. It's a Google Drive link. Click download. Ignore the error that pops up, first of all. Alright, this is about a 44 megabyte file, so it'll take a second to download. Extract it in your downloads folder. Extract files here. Alright, now we have our sounds folder, so we can navigate back to our Technic Launcher. We're going to click Mod Pack Options, Open, then we're going to go to Resources, and we're going to open our sounds folder. And we're going to drag everything in the sounds folder into the resources folder. Make sure you do it just like that or your sound files aren't going to work. Now that that step is complete, we're going to go to Tekkit Classic. We're going to click play and we're going to wait for Minecraft to load up. Now.
Now that that's happened, we can navigate to texture packs, open texture pack. Then we can go to desktop. We can click on the Sfax base pack. We can click control C to copy, and then we can just click the back arrow on our mouse. And if you don't have a back arrow on your mouse, just go ahead and click this arrow, then right click and click paste. So this is going to paste your texture pack into your Minecraft files, and now it should be accessible on this screen. So go ahead and give that a click on the selection menu. All right. Now, instead of hitting done, we're going to hit escape because it's faster, and we're going to test out the sound. So sound works just fine. As you can see, we have our menu sounds. I'm going to open a single player world. I'm going to call that YouTube, and I'm going to show you that the Railcraft textures are currently working. Here we are in a jungle biome. So let's just go ahead and get outside of this. We have our sound. Everything's working properly. We're going to go into NEI. We're going to type in track. Now we can see all the Railcraft tracks are working. I'm going to go ahead and just click a few random ones and lay them down so that you see they work in world. All right. That's our Railcraft textures working. Okay. So this is important right here. While you're in game, hold F7. Look down. That turns down the atmospheric volume. The atmospheric volume is very, very loud in TechIt. So just keep that in mind. Okay, that pretty much marks the end of tutorial. If uh, anyone is interested in hosting a server or joining a private community, I happen to host a private community server for Tekkit Classic, so go ahead and leave a comment or message me on one of our um, messaging apps if you're my friend, and I'll get back to you on that. Okay.